Hi friends, thank you so much for watching our channel, Gene and Renee Travel Adventures. We've had several folks ask us about grocery shopping and what the average prices are and things like that. Well, I'm getting ready to make a run to Soriana and I will show you what it looks like and we'll do a quick tour through the grocery store and I'll stop by some aisles and show you some cost. Rarely do we get to stay in an Airbnb that has a garage, but we did on this occasion. And so, well, the car's in the garage. That's nice. It doesn't get quite as dusty. Every once in a while, you're going to hear the GPS in the background. Hey, I'm sorry. I was not created with a built-in GPS in my brain, and I need to use the GPS if I'm just going next door. Renee, on the other hand, totally opposite. If she's ever been anywhere once, she can get you right back there again. Ah! As you can tell, the roads, some of the roads are okay, but some of the neighborhood roads like this have some serious potholes in them. You've probably seen this thoroughfare, this road in several of our other videos, passing by a school on the left and great murals has been painted there. You'll notice that as we come to stop signs, you don't see a lot of stoplights. You do see some, but uh, generally people are really good at this four-way stops. They wait patiently when it's your turn and nobody blows their horn. That's kind of nice. See the palm trees? It's always cool to see palm trees. I'm from the southeast, and you know we don't see palm trees unless someone has uprooted one and put it into their yard or in front of a Mexican restaurant in Virginia, and kind of looks out of place, really, because then they got to wrap it for the winter time so that it doesn't freeze. But anyway, traffic is kind of heavy today. Not sure if there's been an accident or something, because uh, usually. I never see traffic like this around here. And this is on a Tuesday, you know, like 12, 24 in the afternoon. To the left, I see a sign for Pharmacia Similaris, which is uh, one of the major pharmacies in the area. And we've talked about them before. Um, those, you, you get the medicines there that are the most similar to anything that you'd buy in the States in the United States. I keep saying that, it's strange, you know, when you think about it, uh, there are states in Mexico, and it's the United States of Mexico. And so when I say United States, you know, in my brain, I'm thinking United States of America, but uh, I need to be more specific. And just past Pharmacia Similaris is McDonald's, and over to my right, we'll see it in a second, I think, is uh, Pittsburgh Paint Store. can't see it, but there's a big Honda car dealership here to our left. And one of the great things about Mexico is there are no lines in the roads, and you just kind of work your way around. That's Pittsburgh Paint Store. 
Phillips Carls Jr. Parties for you folks in the south of the United States of America. You see, there's no traffic right here. It's fine. So I don't know what was the uh, the big deal back there, but you anyway, know, there's a bowling alley and there's a little Caesar's Pizza. There's Office Depot. Sometimes in the grocery store parking lots, you'll see a guy, and there's one over here to the left, that's washing cars. And you know what? I think I'm gonna get him to wash the car while I'm in there. That'd be a smart thing, because it's very dusty right now. There's a radio shack up here. I mean, Telcel, which is a telephone cellular place. As you can see, the car is really nasty. And the guy says he charges 120 pesos to wash it really good and clean all the moldings and polish the tires and all kind of good stuff. And eh, it's a little bit pricier than what we paid on the interior of Mexico. Uh, 120 pesos is about $6.50 U.S. And usually in the interior, we'd pay about $5 U.S. But, you know, either way, a hand-washed car, you can't beat that price. You'll notice to the right of Soriana, between Radio Shack and Soriana, is the chicken place, Pollo Pachucon, and excellent roasted chicken. We get it from there sometimes. Great meal. There's a sale board. It's what's on sale at Soriana today. I'll put a price guide up for you in just a few minutes for converting from Canadian dollar, U.S. dollar to the peso. But realize that pretty much all the fruits and veggies that you're seeing it's the price is per kilogram and if you're not familiar with metric one kilogram equals about two and a quarter pounds and uh, it's a little bit under two and a quarter pounds there in front of us, a uh, package of them for 33.90 pesos. What goes in this section here? Maybe the problem in the USA has reached here now because that's where the eggs are usually kept. And usually there are tons and tons of eggs here, even when you couldn't find them back in the States or in the USA rather. And the prices really weren't bad here on those. They've got a little deli section here on the left where you can get some ready-made meals. And just past that is the bakery. Yum, yum. Pastries. And what you do is you get a little tray and you put on it what you want and then you take it up to the cashier. And usually there are muffins and cookies and all kinds of good things here. And donuts. I think I'm gonna get some of those donuts.
Oh yeah, we're eating healthy here. Definitely. Muchas gracias. coolers that you see there anytime you see those in a grocery store there are fresh made tortillas in there and these are corn tortillas and they have white corn tortillas on the left and it's uh, 12.90 so that's eh, about 60 cent I guess uh, thereabouts uh, for one kilogram so that's uh, almost like two pounds worth and it's a big package of tortillas and doesn't get any fresher than those. The coolers are not to keep them cool, the coolers are to keep them nice and warm. And if you need to get fresh deli meats and cheeses, you get it right there in the deli section. And that's the meat section here. Seventy-six pesos. Yeah, that's, I prefer, that's the cold milk. I prefer to get it in the carton. You'll see it on the shelf in a moment. Here's the in-house pharmacy and cleaning supplies. I mean, up front you'll even find like televisions and things like that. of cooking oils, canola, and vegetable oils, and olive oils. Uh, this uh, 32 ounces of this uh, canola oil is 62 pesos. So La Costina, they have salsas, and so does Hernandez. Hernandez, man, we like them. You can't go wrong with their stuff. And it looks like, you know, for a good sized jar here like this, of uh, some, um, guacamole picante sauce is 47 pesos so what is that about eh, about two dollars and 40 cents something like that and they got salsa verde and regular salsa and then tons more sometimes when we get frijoles or, or beans refried beans we'll get these like this where it's uh, in the package and you get these for like 15.40 so that's you know maybe like 75 cents something like that and uh they're good 
Then you get the black beans there, same price, or 15 pesos. I need some vinegar for a recipe that I'm working on. Don't need much, and some of us can get one of these. These are 10.9, oh, 10.8. So like 55, 60 cents, something like that. Uh, get all the mayonnaises and all that you want here. But uh, McCormick makes some good stuff, and I like it that you can get it with the kind of like a lime flavoring to it. And so that's uh, 68 pesos for a good size medium jar with the lime flavoring. Now tea is something you don't find your Lipton tea here and your Louisiana tea like you would in the USA. McCormick puts out uh, the teas and some of the brands like Valley Foods and all, but we like uh, the McCormick uh, Tea Negro. And this is uh, 38 point well, 38 pesos, and I guess it's, uh, it's a bunch of little small bags, not the family size, but the regular su smaller size, and we make our tea out of that. Tea Negro, that's your, like your Louisiana tea, or like your Lipton tea. Gotta have my vanilla coffee mate. Uh, it's non-refrigerated at the present moment. It will be refrigerated when I get it home, uh, but 40.50 pesos. Good thing about cereals here, is cereals they will put a little marker on them like you'll see up here on this where it says excessive calories and excessive sugar and uh those are probably things that you don't want uh unless you want to be diabetic and so i found this uh nestle makes this fitness cereal and it's 63.90 pesos but you'll know and it's new and you'll see that it does not have that label on it. So a little bit healthier for you. And here are the cartons of milk like I was telling you about. Uh, they don't have as much at the Soriana as some of the places do. Some of the places we go to has got like an entire aisle uh, for the stuff. But uh, I tend to like this Santa Clara, uh, but they're just about out of that uh, for some reason. And so this is the one I want, but this is a small container of it. This is like a, a one liter, and uh, but that's the uh, lactose-free one. They make one that's a, a two-liter one. This is your bread aisle and your crackers and such as that. And also, I have some tortilla shells. This is if you want the white flour ones that come, you know, prepackaged, not your hot ones over in the deli. Uh, such as the snack aisle and the drink aisle. This is where we spend the most of our money at, I think, because uh, you know, we like to get our potato chips. And I'll get the sabritas up here, which is 100 pesos. 100 pesos is about $5. So that's expensive, and you're getting, getting the equivalency of a Lay's potato chip, I guess. But here's where the money's at. We have to buy the soft drinks for Renee. She's done so well because they don't have Mountain Dew or Diet Mountain Dew here, so we've got to get this. And what we're looking for is the Sin Azucar, the uh, Coke Zero, no sugar. The thing you see here, uh, you see the three liter bottles. The three liter bottle there. I guess it's a three liter, isn't it? Oh, it kind of feels like a three liter bottle. Yeah, three liter. And uh, that's uh, 41.9 pesos uh, is it about two dollars and something two dollars and a few pennies Renee also likes the fresca and the fresca back in the USA is a diet drink uh, has no sugar in it here it is not a diet drink and it does have the sugar you're paying 38.90 for a three liter drink uh, with excessive calories and excessive sugars Ugh. No, no, bad, bad. Most of your juices come in the cardboard boxes like this. And uh, Chumex is one that we use. It's a good orange juice. And it does not have the pulp in this one. And it's 33.5 uh, per container there. And it's a one liter container. They have apple juice. They also have, I'm looking for it. They usually have the uh, Hugo Verde. And I'll just say this, Hugo Verde is wonderful, but their Hugo Verde is not good. It was yucky. We're running some kind of a special here uh, on these pineapple ones here. 
pineapple two of them for 43 so that's two for like two dollars that's a dollar a piece a dollar and ten cent fifteen cent there you got uh, mango and guava uva now this is amazing they've got grape juice and that's really strange you know, this is a wine area wine district of um of mexico but you can't find grape jelly you can find grape juice but no grape jelly everybody uses it nobody wants to talk about it but toilet paper all right we usually get ours from costco and i, I guess we're getting a better deal but here's this uh, patalo 16 rolls is it? so it's uh four eight yeah it's 16 rolls and that's 64.50 pesos and you got toothpaste here a two pack of colgate uh for like two bucks uh, the axiom and the salvo uh, dishwashing liquid uh they usually run about two dollars about 44 44 pesos laundry detergent here and usually we use this uh, ace down here i guess it's kind of like tide and uh for five kilograms 164 pesos or you get a store brown a store thing here i think this is what i've usually done right there uh, soft and delicate uh 30 pesos, so like a dollar and a half for that bag. And you can get a store brand here uh, that's uh, $27.90, so that's under under $2. The problem when you don't understand a lot of Spanish is you wander around the grocery store for quite a long time looking for something that you're trying to find. Like for a recipe, I needed some Worcestershire sauce, and it's salsa inglesia. And that's Worcestershire sauce, and it looks like it's 40 pesos, so about $2. You have clothes here, eh, kind of like a Walmart, although there is a Walmart in town. This is just not it. And if you see up ahead, you have television sets and, yeah, stuff like that. and doesn't it look fabulous uh, 120 pesos a little bit more than what uh, we would pay uh, inland in Mexico but remember we're near the border here and so 120 pesos it's about six dollars and sixty cents US dollar so really when you think about it a hand washed car for that price not bad at all and the tires look great all the moldings look great and the dust will cover it in uh, about 30 minutes. Maybe not that long, but at least another day and it'll be dusty again. But for right now, it looks sharp. I'm riding sharp now. Okay, let's see if we can go back home at a little bit better route. Not quite as many potholes, not quite as bumpy as the way that we went. And we'll see. I don't know, I can't promise anything because this is Mexico, so we shall see. There's the guy washing cars. Everybody's getting their cars washed, and it's gonna be a pretty, pretty bunch of cars. Let's see, I gotta go left here to go around. Now, at the grocery store, they don't have a place for you to return your carts, which is fine because they have people working out in the parking lot and they're pretty quick. I mean, if you are unloading your car, uh, they're ready to grab that cart from you when you're done or you can just leave it right there and they'll they'll take care of it. Uh, or if you need any help loading the car, uh, there's gonna be someone out there to, hey, let me help you load your car. Uh, of course, it won't be 
hey, let me help you unload your car. It'll be in Espanol, but I know what they're asking. Yeah, they want to know if they want to help unload the car. And, you know, you give them, give them some pesos for doing it, and they're happy, and you're happy too. It's kind of like the bagger, the bagger at the grocery store. Uh, it's usually an older person, and, you know, they need some income. And so uh, you give them a couple of pesos. Me, I, I tend to give a, a little bit better than pay, just a couple of pesos. I'll usually give them like a, a 10 pesos or 20 pesos, which is like uh, 50 cents or a dollar uh, for helping because uh, they need the income. Here's somebody from Massachusetts that's lost and their car is dirty. They drove all the way here and they don't know what they're doing. But it's okay. It's okay. All these other dirty cars. I feel so clean by comparison, you know? There's California. There's Baja, California. Plenty of those plates because that's where we are. There's another California. Another California. Another California. Those Californias just come down here, I guess. And that's Baja, California. I'm a plate watcher, you know? This is an interesting way to get in and out of this store. Uh, you can come in off the street like we did, or you can come down this ramp and go up this ramp. This puts you on the side road. And what's kind of dangerous is I want to be on the other side, going the other direction. And so I'm going to pull up here like this and wait for my chance. And I don't see it happening anytime soon because the traffic from the right is kind of heavy. But I see an opening coming up on the right, but there's not an opening coming up on the left. Isn't that the way it always works? Works that way everywhere. All right, there's an opening on the left. There's an opening on the right. I'm taking it. Now, one thing you have to watch out for down here is you'd be driving along and you'd think that this is all stoplights on this road. And for the most part it is, except right here at the OXO station, there is an Alto sign which means you need to stop. There's really no cross traffic. I guess it's just so that people can get in and out of the OXO station. And we'll let this guy go if he wants to go. I think he doesn't want to go, okay. He's just backing into the space. But we'll stop here. And I'm not sure this guy's gonna cross. Yeah, there we go. crane rental place and a lift rental there. If I was still in construction business, then that's where I'd be renting my stuff from. And we're going to turn here on Dr. Pedro uh, Loyola. And you can make a right on red in Baja, California. I know that for sure because we asked our lawyer friend, Carlos, and he said, yes, yes, you can. And we're passing by Maddie and Jack's where we get Jenny clipped at. And we're gonna turn if there's not water. There's a drainage problem right here where the water place is. And after I just got my car washed, I'm gonna do it. It's not bad. In fact, I'm gonna come in from an angle so I don't splash my pretty clean tires. That's where I get the bottled water done at. This road, the potholes are not quite as bad. And it's kind of like some of the neighborhoods have worse potholes. Some of them are paved really nice. And I don't know what the answer is. I don't know if it's like locals that come along and fill the potholes. See like here, we've got some potholes right here. And one good thing about it is you don't have to put those signs up in the neighborhood, slow children playing, which I never understood. Does that mean that slow children are playing or does it mean that you to drive slow because children are playing? Uh, don't write anything in the comments. I'm not, I'm just being funny. I'm not trying to be mean, but um, maybe they leave the potholes kind of like speed bumps so that you slow up and take your time through the neighborhood. Now, if you notice the house right in front of us, this is 
I mean, they've got a high gate around it. They've got dogs. They've got razor wire at the top. They've got cameras. They've got lights. They've got alarms, I'm sure. I don't know who lives there, but it's not me. We're back in our neighborhood. Thank you for doing the little ride along with me and going to the grocery store, going to Soriana, and we picked up some things. And you know, uh, I look forward to showing you this video. And you know, maybe you're curious, and you can check. Uh, you know, there are some areas in the United States. I am sure, United States of America. I am sure that your prices are going to be cheaper than what I was getting there. Uh, but some areas they're not. Everywhere is different. And you know, I can go to a local grocery store, a little local mom and pop kind of place, and it might be even cheaper here. But this gives you kind of an idea of what it's like to go grocery shopping. Thanks for watching. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for liking, for subscribing. I appreciate you helping us to grow our channel. And another thing you can do to help the metrics in growing our channel is when you see, after you watch this video, you see some suggested ones there, another one of ours, watch a second video after this one. And that magically helps do something cool. So thank you for doing that.